Ever wondered where all your favorite apps store their data? How does YouTube stream billions of videos seamlessly? Or how can businesses run powerful AI models without supercomputers? The answer is Google Cloud Platform, or GCP. In this video, we're diving into GCP, Google's powerful cloud computing platform that runs everything from small startups to massive companies. By the end, you'll understand what GCP is, why it's important, and how you can start leveraging it. So let's jump in. Before we talk about GCP, let's quickly break down cloud computing. Imagine you own a restaurant. Instead of buying expensive kitchen equipment, you rent a professional kitchen that has everything pre-installed. Cloud computing works the same way you don't need to buy or maintain expensive servers. Instead, you want computing power, storage, and services from cloud providers like Google. This makes it cost-effective, scalable, and super fast. Businesses no longer need to worry about hardware failures or upgrades. Everything is handled in the cloud, allowing them to focus on what really matters, and that is building their applications. Now that we know what the cloud is, let's talk about Google Cloud Platform. GCP is Google's suite of cloud computing services that lets businesses and developers store data, run applications, build AI models, and even manage large-scale infrastructure without needing physical hardware. Think of it a giant toolbox that helps companies power their applications efficiently. In fact, some of the world's biggest platforms like Spotify, Twitter, and Snapchat run on Google Cloud. And of course, Google itself uses GCP to operate services like YouTube, Gmail, and Google Search. So, when you use GCP, you're running on the same infrastructure that powers billions of users worldwide. Now, you might be wondering, there are other cloud providers like AWS and Microsoft Azure, so why Google Cloud? Here are three key reasons why companies and developers love GCP. First and foremost reason is, it has powerful AI and machine learning. Google is a leader in AI, and GCP offers cutting-edge tools for machine learning, natural language processing, and data analytics. Second, because of its scalability and security, GCP runs on the same infrastructure that Google uses for its own services, meaning it's fast, reliable, and has top-tier security. Third, it is cost-effective, and it has flexibility. Google offers competitive pricing, a pay-as-you-go model, and free-tier services to help businesses save money. So, whether you're a developer, data scientist, or a business owner, GCP gives you the tools to scale without breaking the bank, now that we understand what GCP is, let's look at some of its most important services. Google Cloud offers over 100 different services, but here are five that every beginner should know. First is Compute Engine. This is GCP's virtual machine service. Think of it as renting a powerful computer in the cloud to run your applications. Second is Cloud Storage. Need to store files, images, or backups? Cloud Storage is like Google Drive, but for businesses fast, scalable, and highly secure. Third is BigQuery, Google's data analytics engine. It helps businesses process massive data sets in seconds, perfect for making data-driven decisions. Next is Cloud Functions. Want to automate tasks? Cloud Functions let you run small pieces of code in response to events, like sending notifications when a file is uploaded. And fifth one is Kubernetes Engine. If you're into app development, Kubernetes helps you manage containerized applications, making it easy to deploy and scale your apps efficiently. GCP is trusted by some of the biggest companies in the world. Here are a few real-world examples. Spotify uses GCP for data analytics, helping them recommend personalized playlists to millions of users. Twitter migrated to Google Cloud to improve its scalability and handle massive amounts of real-time data. Snapchat relies on GCP to power its cloud storage and AI-based filters. Even NASA uses GCP for space research and simulations. These companies trust Google Cloud because it provides the speed, scalability, and security they need to handle millions, even billions, of users at once. Now that we've covered the basics of GCP, what's next? In this series, we'll go step by step, covering cloud storage, databases, networking, AI, and even automation. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer by the end of this playlist, you'll have the skills to start using GCP like a pro. Did you learn something new about Google Cloud today? Let me know in the comments. And if you're excited to start your cloud journey, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications because next up, we'll be diving into cloud storage and databases on GCP. You don't want to miss it.